all counts, guys, factor more heavily into your score. If you want to score increase quickly, fast, always look at your revolving balances, your credit cards, and pay the balances down to 2 to 10%. Did you hear me? This is different language than before. I'm telling you guys how to get your approvals. So you want to kind of be aggressive in the area that you can control to offset some of the things that you can't control. Again, you don't need to be perfect. You just need to be good enough to qualify for your mortgage pre-approval. Then you do your wealth building. You do your business credit. You do your investing. You have more money. You fix the rest of it. You're good, right? Easy breezy cover girl. All right, so pay down your credit card utilization to 2 to 10%, okay? Step number one. Step number two, anything that is past due, you must bring it current. So that means your mortgage, well, if you have a mortgage already, and you might, right, because this is for all levels. If your car note is past due, if your mortgage is past due, if you have loans past due, credit cards past due, all of your open available credit, you're looking there first. Make sure it is current and you have nothing past due, okay? Okay. Step number three, dispute your hard inquiries. Guys, this is low-hanging fruit, and some of you guys are missing this. You're disputing all the collections and all the charge-offs. I'm going to talk about that next, but you're not looking at your hard inquiries. Guys, one hard inquiry, one, can impact your score anywhere between three to seven points. So think about that. Let's say you have... 15 hard inquiries and say through the dispute process you get at least like three to five knocked off guys some of you guys are one or five points or ten points away from a mortgage pre-approval dispute the hard inquiries and this is where with the hard inquiries Sometimes it's harder for them to verify those because a lot of people do applications over the phone and applications online. So they don't always have your like actual signature as authorization. So to keep a hard inquiry on your credit report, the companies have to prove permissible purpose. Sometimes they're just not, uh, not able to overcome that barrier and you get your hard inquiries removed through that loophole. So go through your hard inquiries. If there's any that you don't recognize, you didn't authorize, you think are unfair, you're going to dispute them in writing with the credit bureaus. And don't dispute all of them, obviously. If some are, are valid, then you're keeping them. Like if you apply for a Discover credit card and you got the Discover credit card, you're not disputing inquiries that are tied to an open account you got approved for. But for any hard inquiries that you didn't get approved, you didn't authorize, you don't recognize, dispute them. Even if you have 10 and you got three or five removed, that's going to help your score quickly. That's 30 days or less sometimes, okay? Dispute the hard inquiries. The next things are your collections and your charge-offs. Now, you want all collections and charge-offs to be